beauties and welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be a monthly haul. This is gonna be a September haul. We're in October. This is gonna be a September haul and I am in a low buy. <laughs> and now in October, this is my last month in my low buy and my low buy rules is that I'm only allowing myself to buy three makeup items per month. This month I only bought one and I'm only allowing myself to buy three other items which is like clothing, homeware, blah blah blah. I'm trying to just cut back and I've also, I've been so good at cutting back on PR as well, being like really, because when you're a smaller YouTuber, which I am, it is so easy to be like, oh my god, you want to send me things? That's so nice, thank you. But I've been really honest with myself and being like, are you going to use this? Are you going to reach for this? Are you, do you really want to do a video on this? And therefore, I've actually said no to so much PR and I really feel like I'm in a place right now and I do want to know about different formulas. I want to know about new brands. I do want to know about new releases because I feel like what I do on YouTube is to showcase products, letting you know whether or not they're worth buying, letting you know whether or not they're dupes for something else that's on the market because a lot of the times things are released you might already own it. <laughs> and I know that's probably not what the brands want me to do, but that's what I'm doing. And also being able to know different formulas so that I can let you know when sometimes things are very similar in formulas and letting you know which formulas I personally prefer. Because I do feel like makeup is a personal preference. I don't think there's a lot of really bad makeup being released, but I can let you know about my preferences and maybe if your preferences are like mine or the opposite of mine, you know what you could be wanting to get or not. But I have to tell you that I'm so excited about the fact of getting less PR as well because I don't, we don't need to try all of it. We really, really don't. This is still a lot of PR, don't get me wrong, but it hasn't been that much. I'm gonna let you know about the thing that I bought. What, why is my hair looking like this? <laughs> because you slept on it when it was wet, that's why it's doing this. I bought, oh, it's not here. Where is it? I bought the Warrior 3. Ooh, it's not here. Wait, let me get it. Where did I put it? Let me get it. Okay, here it is. I bought the Warrior 3 by Juvius. Uh, this wasn't sent to me as PR. I am not on the Juvius place. I don't know why I'm not getting PR from Juvius, but I'm not. I do have a code with them though. <laughs> so if you want to shop something from Juvius place, you can use my code Angelica. Uh, I will leave it down below and you can save 10%. I did buy this myself. I do really enjoy this palette. I did three looks with this palette and I also did a video where I swatched this palette and other similar uh, colors from other Juvia Space palettes. I will leave all the corresponding uh, videos to the things I'm gonna talk about today. I will leave them down below so that you can have a peek. I like this palette. I'm happy I bought it. Uh, I also bought two. So I bought one for a giveaway. The giveaway is still live on my channel. I will also leave that down below if you want to be entered in my giveaway and you can actually win one of these uh, together with a bunch of other things. Then this is going to be, am I going to do the PR first and end with the clothing? I think I'll do that. I'll, I'll just do all of the makeup and beauty and then we'll go into the more lifestyle uh, things because I know there's not, not everyone is inter interested in that. One thing that I did buy though is that I bought the Aussie dry shampoo, wash and blow in a can, boost me up. This is a dry shampoo with some volume. I love this. I bought it on sale. Every time I see this on sale, I buy them. I don't want to pay this much money for a dry shampoo, but Aussie dry shampoo is probably one of my favorite ones. I do think that this one is really good and I buy it every time I see it's on a sale. That's why I bought this one, because I think it's really good. I'm still using up another one that I have, that's why I still have it in this box. But I really, really do like that one. Is there anything else that I bought here? No. The rest that's in here is PR. And I have two uh, items left for October if I want to. And I actually already bought something in October. And I was so excited, because I bought this palette in the beginning of September. And then this is going to be my segment in my Hannah Lee's post and segment of my my feelings about my my low buy I was like I don't want anything else I'm done I'm done I don't want anything uh, my friend Karen Harris actually asked me she's like I'm ordering from melt do you want to buy the melt blush because I said I wanted it and I was like you know what no I don't want anything I don't want anything I was fed up I was fed up with everything and I didn't want to buy anything so I haven't bought anything because I bought this in the beginning of the month and then I haven't bought anything for almost a month, I think, because why do I feel like I have something here? Yesterday, yesterday night, I bought something. 
It was the first thing I bought in a while and I was so excited. I bought it really late last night. If you're on my Instagram, you know in my stories that I actually showed you what I bought. And I bought it and it released at 1 a.m. my time. And I was sitting up late and I was buying it and when I clicked it home, I was like, Ew! I was so excited and that's how I want to feel. I went to bed and my fiance was already in bed. He's like, why are you so happy? I'm like, I just bought new eyeshadow. That's how I want to feel about makeup. That feeling. I want that feeling when I'm buying makeup. And I, I didn't feel that way about any of the other things in September. So I didn't buy them. I am still able... My low buy is stretching over October as well. Uh, and this is my last month in my low buy. And I feel like I finally reached my destination. Where I was like, I don't want anything. I'm good. <laughs> and I didn't buy anything. I felt super happy about that. So I bought something in the beginning of September and then I didn't buy anything for a whole month and I was like, yes, loved it. I really did. And that's how I wanna feel. I wanna feel like when I finally buy something, it's something I really want. It's something I'm super excited about because I am still so excited about makeup. I still love makeup as much as I've ever done. I'm just a bit more picky. And then when, same when it comes to PR as well. I'm just a bit more picky and when I know I'm not gonna reach for it, or when I know that I'm not going to be able to make a video on it, I don't want to stretch their budget and then like sending me stuff that I'm not going to be able to showcase. So it's 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 a win-win situation that I'm just saying no. So these are the things that I received in PR. First of all, I received a, another mascara from Nabla. This is a major pleasure. I've had this from before. This is what she looks like. Pretty fancy packaging, but it's all cardboard. So it's pretty easy to recycle. In Sweden, at least, it's very easy to recycle cardboard. Uh, pretty packaging. Um, I'm gonna save this as a backup, or I might give it away as well, because I do have another mascara as a backup that I think I'm gonna use instead. And that is that I was on a trip. That sounds weird. But I was, I was on a trip with Benefit for one day in Copenhagen. So I went to Denmark, but it was abroad but it was Denmark. Everybody else got to go to Tokyo, I got to go to Denmark, but I did get some things from Benefit. I did get the new brow styler. Where is it? Here. I got the new brow styler. I have been using it in a video. I will leave a link uh, down below to the video where I'm trying this one. And also I got a tote with the concealers in it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I got the new concealer as well. So I have been using both the brow styler and the concealer in that video. And uh, I'm so excited. I actually did like, I'm wearing this concealer today. I don't know if you can see anything. I'm wearing the concealer today. I actually think it looks really, really nice. And I'm wearing the brow styler as well, but I'm wearing it together with my MAC brow, brow tint, shade, shade and tint. I think it's called shade and tint. And they also gave me some other goodies of things that some of these I might not keep all of these because I do already have some of these but they gave me a backup of the Bad Gal Bang and the Bad Gal Bang is my favorite mascara of all time so this one I'm definitely saving so that I can use that one as a backup because I love the Bad Gal Bang it's the only mascara I own where when I like really curl my lashes and really take my time with the mascara it's the only mascara where I'm like you know what I think I'll skip lashes and that's that's unheard of for me because I love lashes. I love lashes and I love the way they look and that's just how I am. I also got uh, the new shades from Lethal Cosmetics. She sent me this palette and I also used these together with these in the same video. It's where I talk about my channel and the fact that I'm going to upload a bit less. But I'm still uploading this video because you really seem to love this kind of video. But she sent me the new shades. It's the S Land Sky... Something land, something sky. This is basically two bundles of singles and I got both of the bundles and I got a palette to put them in. These are so pretty. The blues were so beautiful together. This mint was so pretty. So I have used like half of these shadows, but not all of them, but I will say from just using them, well, once on camera and once outside of camera, that it's the same quality as the other Lethal Cosmetics shadows from what I've used so far. And I really like the Lethal Cosmetics shadows. And that is also one of the reasons when she asked if she could send me the new collections as well, I said yes, because I really, really do like her formula. I think it's beautiful. And I also really like the uh, design your own palette tool that she has on her website. It's so Fun. You can drag and drop all the shadows in her collection into a palette and create your own palette. 
it is literally so fun. I wish every brand would do it, although maybe I don't because then she wouldn't be as unique. But I will link the uh, build your own palette feature down below so that you can check it out. It's so much fun. I also did get sent some of the new palettes by Blush Tribe. I got sent the Pastel Tribe. Uh, this is what the Pastel Tribe looks like. Wait, let me take that. This one has a mirror as well. This is what the Pastel Tribe looks like. You see there's a mirror. This is a... Uh, can I maybe... Maybe I should have done this with the little ones. This is made to be pastels on the darker skin tone. The owner of Blush Trub is uh, of Pakistani descent. So this is made to be more of a pastel palette for a darker skin tone. I think these look really nice. I haven't tried them yet, but I am super interested. She also gave me the Lila palette. And the Lila palette is a mix of Hasina, some shades from Hasina One and some shades from Blossom, which are two palettes that she has discontinued. But I own both of these palettes, so I actually decided to give the Lila palette away. That is also part of the giveaway uh, for where the uh, Warrior 3 is so do check out the giveaway if you're interested in that and then she gave me the Lila 2. This is the palette I think I'm gonna use next. Uh, this is this uh, doesn't have a mirror but this one is an all green palette and this is what this one looks. I really like the top um, like the top row with those more murky mossy greens and then I love the darker greens on the bottom. So I'm interested in trying this one out. I think I'm gonna enjoy it. I feel like I want to do an all matte one. Let me show you the little ones up close as well so you can see and you can also see that I only dipped into uh, the blue ones so so far I can only speak about like the quality of the blue ones. I haven't even touched the reds or the pinks. So, so far the ones I've tried has been really, really nice quality, but I can't really talk about the whole collection because I haven't, I haven't tried all of them yet. But I will at some point. <laughs> then the last thing I got is PR and this is the last thing, right? Yeah, I actually got a message or I got a mail from Beautylish and they asked me if they could send me some things from Got Good Molecules. And I have heard some good things about Good Molecules and I thought it'd be really interesting for me to try out a more affordable skincare brand. She asked me about like my skin and like my ish if I have any issues with my skin and what I like so she could give me the right stuff basically and I said I have normal skin but I am have a bit more mature skin and I do have some fine lines and she sent me the ultra hydrating facial oil the hyaluronic acid serum the super peptide serum and the Naya Niacin Amide. That's how you would say it in Swedish. Niacin Amide? Niacin Amide? Niacinamide. That sounds right. Uh, brightening toner. I love niacinamide. Is that right? I hope that's right. That is wait, That is one of the things where I really notice that my skin loves that ingredient. So if you also have a bit more mature skin, sometimes have some lines or texture or enlarged pores. I sometimes have enlarged pores. That ingredient has worked wonders for me and if you also have the same skin type as me, do try adding that to your skincare routine. It's really been working wonders for me. So I'm really excited about that one. I know sometimes people get upset when I uh, I get that in the comments when, why do you keep repeating the same word over and over? And it's, I don't think people understand how hard it is to learn another language. This isn't my first language, this is my second language, my first language is Swedish and I have been improving my English so much during the years that I've been on YouTube. I've been here for four years and I have to say that when I started YouTube I felt like I was good at English. But when I look at my older videos and look at my newer videos and how I feel right now when I talk, my English has improved so much. Every time I am mispronouncing something or I'm wondering about the pronunciation or I'm wondering about the usage of a specific word or when I repeat a word in different ways, there's always someone in the comments helping me, teaching me how to be better at English. And I'm sorry if you're annoyed that I'm repeating the same word several times, but it's helping me. It's helping me improve my second language. And if you cannot deal with me trying to be better at something, then I can't help you. I'm trying to be better at English and you are helping me so much. And I wanna thank you for that. I haven't properly thanked you for all the amazing things you've done for me with improving my vocabulary and my grammar and my pronunciation. It's been so amazing, this journey on YouTube. And that's why I do it, because I want to be better. I want to be better. Now let me show you some things I bought that was more like a lifestyle. Let me just put these things back in the in the boxy. Or maybe I should show you, because I got, when I was, okay, 
I, I didn't want to film this this long, but maybe it's going to be a bit longer anyways. I'm so sorry. But I was in Ma uh, Manchester with Look Fantastic. I've been two trips this month. I feel, I feel so happy about that. It was so much fun to go to Manchester with Look Fantastic. You know I opened the Look Fantastic boxes here on my channel and I also do uh, get some PR from them and they gave me a goodie bag when I was in Manchester and I thought I'd show you some of the things that were in the goodie bag. I might give some of the things away. I'm probably gonna give a little goodie bag to my boss actually if you're watching this. We're gonna get a bit of a goodie bag because I do have some things that I think that she would really really enjoy but I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I got. It was mostly like skincare and some masks and also let me sh let me show you let's quickly talk about that first of all they gave me a goodie bag from molten brown this one had a body oil this one looks so luxurious uh, and then a body oil all of these were jasmine and sun royce rose royce and then there is a body lotion i don't use body lotion so this is the one i'm gonna give to my boss and also they gave me a shower gel and bath uh, bath gel bath look at me being british and i love oh, I love taking bots, so I am boss bats. Sorry, so I'm gonna keep that for sure. And then they gave me this box. It was a lot prettier when I got it. I'm sorry. There's a bunch of things here, and I don't think I'm gonna keep keeping all of them. I did get a bunch of things from Yes Two because we did meet Yes Two. We had a bit of a go through of the brand when we were in Manchester, and they gave us a lot of really fun stuff. So I'm gonna be trying some Yes Two, basically masks like this one. I this is a bubbling paper mask. Their thing is they're using a lot of natural ingredients and they're basically having a different kinds of lines for different skin needs. The tomato one is for more uh, blemish prone skin. The grapefruit is for clearing up skin. They also have coconut for dry skin and then they have, I don't know really, something else as well. I don't remember the other fruit. And then they have a new uh, vitamin C peel off mask. Um, and. There was another, oh yeah, and I got some of these stickers. Uh, this is a lip mask from the Coconut series. Stickers that you put when you get a pimple. You put it on the pimple and you sleep with it. And then when you wake up, it's supposed to have like reduced a lot. I'm super excited in trying that one. Let me put that one away. And then, oh yeah, I got a bunch of Yes2 masks. So I'm super excited in trying some of those. Got one of the Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminators. And I don't own this one. This one is in Pixie Pearl. And this is a bigger one. And look at how beautiful this one looks. I mm, open up. I really love how the Laura Geller face products work on me. They have always been super nice on me. And if you're wondering about why uh, these are the things I got from Look Fantastic, Look Fantastic is a big like online store. It's like big. It's like Beauty Bay or Ulta. It's they got so many brands, and these are some of the brands that they have. They have so many brands. They have like well. Laura Geller and Yes2 and they have like MAC and Estee Lauder and Morphe. They have a bunch of stuff and I do have a code with them that is not affiliated. And not affiliated means that I don't get any percentage. I don't get paid if you use my code. And I will leave it down below. You get 20% off like thousands <laughs> of their items. Not all of them, but I'm, I'm going to leave some info down below so you can check it out. I also got a foot mask from Starskin. So excited. Some eyelower lashes. Some from the Tan Lux Butter and also the like tanning water. So excited. A bunch of skincare things. This is Strivectin Anti Wrinkle Intense Eye Concentrate for Wrinkles. Is that good? Is that good? I don't know. It sounds so fancy. So there's a bunch of things here that are like, like you can see a bunch of skincare things. I, I, I can't go through all of them because it's so much. But I'm so excited because. I didn't know, before I started getting PR from Look Fantastic, I didn't know how big and how many brands this store had. And now that I do, I'm like, it's like a world has opened to me. And I'm super excited to be trying some more Yes2. I tried one of... Uh, it wasn't this one. I, I tried another one of these masks that was a brightening C, C vitamin. Uh, this series, the brightening sheet mask with the vitamin C. I used that when I was in the bath and I really did enjoy it. I thought it was super nice on the skin. So yeah, I'm going to use some of these and I will let you know how I feel about them either in a collected 
review video or an empties video because I do have a bunch of empties and I might do an empties video soon. Now let's get into the lifestyle things I bought because I'm super excited about them. Like I said, my low buy is permitting me to buy three uh, more lifestyle, fashion, bags, homeware, books, <laughs> things a month because I'm trying to cut back a bit of that as well and I've been doing really good and it's been pre-fall and pre-fall clothes are the best clothes in the world. And there is, uh, I bought this one and you've probably seen this already. Uh, I will put a, a picture here from Instagram where I'm wearing this and also a pair of pants that I'm showing you soon and I I I do watch things that go on the runway like I watch runway fashion I'm trying to keep up with fashion there was this beautiful fleece is back in fashion by the way if you love fleece fleece is back in fashion there's a beautiful like this camel fleece jacket from Miu Miu that walked the catwalk and I was like oh that's so pretty but I cannot be spending $1,700 on a fleece jacket because I'm not stupid and I don't care if it's been touched by Mewtwo Prada, I cannot be paying that kind of money. So I bought this from, from H&M. It is basically a beautiful, like, it's not a dupe, it's not, it's not looking the same as the one from uh, Mew Mew. And it has like neon straps, I thought that's so cute. This is so comfy, I either wear this as a jacket when it's not too cold, or I wear it under a jacket to keep me extra warm and I've been really enjoying this. I bought this in the beginning of September and it's been one of my best purchases in a long while. I've used this so much. I love this one. I oh, I'm so happy about this. I had another fleece jacket before but it was pink and I don't even like pink so I actually um, put that in the donation bin. I'm gonna donate that one so I'm get, uh, keeping this one instead. So I didn't add I actually replaced and I think that uh, donating the pink fleece, I think someone else is really going to enjoy it because it is as cozy as this one, but I just didn't use it as much as I should have just because of the color it didn't mix with my wardrobe. And then in the picture that, maybe I'll put it up again, um, I also bought the fall leather pants. If you watch my vlogs, you know that I bought this. This is actually a bit flared. You can probably see it in the picture. They are a bit flared and they're a bit cropped. So it's like slightly cropped, slightly flared, not tight, fall leather pants in like a caramel. I bought these from Naked. Naked is a Swedish brand, like a Swedish online store. I do have their own brand, but they're also carrying other brands. It's actually, it's, it's Swedish and it does ship worldwide. I do think that they make really nice designs, but this is actually the first time I've been shopping from them. But the quality of these are super nice. They're also um, fussy on the inside, so they don't feel plasticky when you wear them. The quality is really nice. They don't look shiny they actually look really nice my cat wants to get out but she'll have to wait i really enjoy these i think i paid like 60 dollars for them though so that's quite a lot i think i paid like 25 dollars for the this one but yeah i paid i think i paid 60 dollars for these but they're exactly what i've been looking for i love wearing like pants and skirts and dresses and jeans but lately it's been so much jeans so i'm so excited so excited that I've been adding a couple of uh, fall leather pants that I can use like in my everyday wardrobe that fits with all of my clothes. If you've seen my closet the clutter, you know that this fits the, the, the color scheme that I have. I also bought another pair of pants and I bought these when I was in Manchester and I bought them from Sara. If you're watching my vlog, you've already seen them. They are super flared green pants. Like visible buttons and they have like work wear pockets on the front um i will link the vlog down below where i showcase these because i'm actually wearing them as well in the vlog so you can see what they look like and i love them i really really love them they fit me so nice and they're so amazing so amazing i'm actually going to the pet store after this to buy some new sand for my litter box for my cats and i will be wearing this one today i think they're absolutely amazing they fit everything in my closet you know this is my color scheme i'm so excited about these three items that i bought so excited this is the beginning of it's the 5th of october when i'm filming this i bought one makeup item and i've bought any clothes yet. I w maybe I'll buy something when I'm in New York. I'm gonna go shopping. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna spend some time with my friends. Sometimes I'm gonna spend some time with my friends. And I might buy something there. I don't know. I, I, I saved some money this month on not buying a lot of stuff. And that's been a 
something with my low buy. I didn't do my low buy to save money. Uh, I did my low buy to curb my shopping enthusiasm. Uh, and I have been doing that, but I also have been saving money and I didn't think I was gonna save money, but I definitely did. And this month I saved quite a lot of money compared to what I usually did shop for because I used to shop for over a thousand dollars a month. Yeah. And I haven't. <laughs> this month for sure I haven't. I shop for maybe $120. $150 maybe because I bought the palette as well. And that's so much better for me. So I saved some money so that I would be able to buy something fun in New York if I found something that I wanted in New York, maybe even at more of a big ticket item because I want to buy fewer but nicer things. So if I find something in New York, I save some money this month so I am able, which is a good thing. So yeah, that was everything for this video. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know how your low buy or how your no buy is going if you are doing one. And I feel like this has been so successful for me. Next month is gonna be my last uh, low buy haul, low buy like monthly check-in. I will maybe do a bit of a sum it up video on how I've been feeling. I know that some people don't think I'm doing a proper low buy because I'm still buying things or because I'm still uh, accepting PR. I mean, if I, if I was on a low buy and I didn't have a makeup channel, of course this would have been totally different, but I can't be doing my low buy based on anyone else but me. I have to do my low buy based on me, my life, my preferences, my needs, and my YouTube channel. I mean, what am I gonna do? I can't, I can't base my things on anyone else but me. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. You've been so kind and nice to me and you've given me so much inspiration and pep talk throughout the comments and so much suggestions and I really appreciate that. That's gonna be everything for this video. I will see you don't really know when the next video is coming, but there is going to be videos soon. I'd upload videos every week and I will see you next time. Bye!